everyone welcome back in this video we will learn how to enable external authentication in uh, identity server 4 so that we can authenticate our client using google or linkedin or any other uh, uh, third party provider so in this video i will be covering linkedin and uh, google so that if your user wants to authenticate they can just log in with their email id and they will they can start using your app okay so first this video is like uh, covered in two uh, two parts one is first one is like configuration second one is how to use the con configuration in the uh, identity server for so solution code okay so first we'll do the uh, configuration part let's do first linkedin so for that you need to go to linkedin uh, developer portal this is the url for that and what you need to you need to create a app for that so once for one, one, once you click on this what you will be you need to fill this information like what's the app name what's the url and all the stuff but the catch is here like you have to have a linkedin page for that so before you create any app you have to create the uh, linkedin page first so what you need to again it's the similar thing you need to uh, uh, log in with your email id and password once you are done with that what you can do you can fill this form and once you are able to fill this you should be a, seeing a page like that so for example i have a creator i have created a client uh, app on linkedin and here you will be seeing your client id and the client secret and uh, on this page you need to put your redirect url so for example i have added these two so my identity server is running on localhost and the port number is 5000 and i have given two url you don't need two by the way you just need to mention one one of them like it depends on your uh, depending on your uh, call and the important thing is like you should have this scope so when you will create for the first time this will not be there this this these two lines will not be there it will be empty so what you need to do you need to click on the product once you click on the product what will happen you need to enable this option okay so you are in product tab this won't be, since i have already selected that's why the select option is not coming just like these two so you need to select this signing with the linkedin so that means user can sign in using linkedin okay so once you select then only you will be able to see this our light profile what what what's the meaning of this one like it will give you a username and the email id lightweight information will be there okay so this much only we have to do with respect to the linkedin uh, like uh, configuration so you just need to mention this client id and the client cell these two important thing now i'll just explain you how to do the um, uh, google uh, authentication so for that again similar thing you just need to go to console uh, developer portal of google and you will be seeing a page like that and for, after that what you need to do you need to click on this credentials page what once you click on that you will be seeing a page like that since i have a lot of clients over there that's why you are seeing otherwise in your case it will be empty and then you need to click on this create credentials once you click on that you need to select this oauth client id and once you click on that you will be seeing a page like that here you have to select your client so for example in my case i'm selecting a web application and just give any name and then put your your client url and the redirect url similar to this uh, linkedin profile what we have added over here like right? just like that what i can do i can put uh, let's say this google i'll put it here like this is my redirect url and this is my let's say client you are like and say like 4200 and once i click on create you will be seeing your client id and the uh, secret over here and what you can do you copy these two and once you are done with that what you need to go and uh, what you need to do i mean to say you need to go to this startup class and there you need to put this here you just uh, remove this or maybe you can make it configurable like we can you can fetch it from my app setting that's the right way of doing by the way so for google you just put your uh, client id and the client secret similarly from linkedin as i already showed you over here like client id and the client secret same thing you have to put it over here okay now important thing is this you need to uh, enable this uh, add, i mean you need to add this method add linkedin and how you are going to add this one for this you need to add a library which is nothing but this one so sp.net um sp not uh, dot security dot auth dot linkedin so if you want to have another provider you just uh, download that kind of library from the liquid manage you get manager okay and for the google you have to have this one and once you are able to restore these two library you should be able to see these two methods add google and add linkedin and that's it and now let me run since i have already configured in my app setting so i should be able to use it 
so you can see my uh, server is running on localhost and port number is 5000 i'll just try to say uh, login so if i try to log in with the linkedin or a google i should be able to do it so let's try with google first so i'll do with the let's say this one you can see i am able to log in now i'll log out let me try to do this time for uh, linkedin and you can see i am able to see my email id and once i sign in you can see i am able to log in over here all right that's pretty much all about this video thank you very much